Hey guys, what's going on today? This here is Dal Su with Dal Su Plays, back with some more Banished. Our little hamlet of Dal Suvius is coming along nicely. We've got double sawmills, cranking out all that stuff that we need. Wood is an important kind of base resource that you pretty much build your whole city on, so you want to have a good established wood industry before you start getting crazy and doing all kind of outlandish things like building town halls. Which is almost done, actually. Um, the construction is happening right now. And should be finished this episode. Probably relatively quickly. Uh, we are wanting to put down some sheep here. So that we can get both wool and lamb meat. Mutton. As it's called. And the chapel, I don't know if we'll do it this episode or not. I'm glad to know that it is there. And ready to go. Also the central market, I don't know if we'll do it this episode or not. Just depends. I think maybe a quarry is probably in order first. Because we want to start upgrading some of our houses so that they're a little bit better. We may want to save up our lumber for that. And we're going to want to keep an eye on things that we can trade away. As soon as our town hall is done, we'll be able to do that. I am also thinking of maybe doing a few more trade buildings. In fact, I think that'll probably be the first thing that I start out with this episode. Is like a proper trading post. And if I have to do a little flattening, I will. I'm not afraid to do that uh, when it comes to something like this. As I said, I'm not doing any more like flattening of mountains and such, but I would like to have that area be flat. That looks kind of nice. We might as well just like kind of finish it off there. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. I don't think that that's uh, out of line. Not really, a, you know, cheating outlandishly or anything like that. It does look like a little bit elevated compared to the other other earth. Let's see how it works out. Uh, it's going to be here, here, and here. This does need to be on the water, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I see some red there because of that little aberration or whatever you want to call it, but it looks like it'll fit right here. And I can move it a little bit closer to civilization. Not going to let me. What's the closest I can I can build it? I could actually build it right here and kind of have it look like it's connected. Is that actually going to work? I don't think that would actually work. Oh yeah, okay, I can see the red now. I'm sorry, you know, I'm colorblind, so I have a little trouble seeing red sometimes. But now I can see the red on the left side. Okay, right here, there must be some red I'm not seeing. Okay, well there we go, we got that laid out. That's going to be nice. We'll be able to trade away a lot of things once our town hall is done. We'll be able to see. Great. Okay. So, town hall is a really, really nice building. And I don't know if it's been upgraded or not. It looks really cool, though. Okay, we've got all of our workers. And, yeah. This is really nice. It tells you kind of what your production's like. For example, we're not producing nearly enough logs, obviously. Actually, we are. Huh. Okay. Inventory is really useful because we can see what we want to trade away. We got plenty of lumber now. Wild seeds, I guess, is a kind of food. Mm, everything else has its purpose. We do want to trade away reeds. And plenty of iron ore. Again, I don't I'm not really seeing any leather, so that's a bit of a problem. I would like the bison to produce some leather, but I don't know if they actually will or not. By the way, we should have one uh, slaughtered fairly soon. And we're going to want to let that pasture get completed. So that we can place our sheep there, because otherwise they do die. <clears throat> I suppose it doesn't actually count the stuff that's in here. As uh, included in your town hall. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's just the fact that I only have one worker here and he's not really able to transport all the stuff fast enough. Well, we'll want to put some more stuff in there as time goes by. Also really nice to see what trade items you have. So I do have pecans, as I thought. I had forgotten that I bought those. So we're going to have an orchard in our near future. I don't know how near, but... We've hit our food cap, so people are not working like they should. Which, you know, really, I would raise it, but more than 5,000 food is not at all necessary, and I'd rather have these people 
go about their business and most especially cut down some trees. So why don't you do those? That'd be great. We've got quite a few laborers now and it's definitely time for some more houses or at the very least housing upgrades. I don't want to do that. I wonder if the stuff that's in the market gets included. I don't think it actually does get included in the... because see it says I have 120 feathers in the market and if I look here I only have... Well, okay maybe they are included. Maybe I just got a huge influx of feathers suddenly. But I'd rather trade them away. Why do I have a zero count of feathers? I mean, feathers are fairly worthless, let's just face it. You can use them for certain clothing later in the game, which is which is useful. Alright, we're going to make this into a sheep pasture and hire a herdsman. Now we'll have three different animals going, which is nice. But, you know, food is not really a huge concern right now, although we did just get below our cap. You are not able to do your job because I don't have enough logs, really because they're not nearby. This is the reason why you would have a market here because otherwise this market is going to go ahead and steal all of the logs that you need. And you know they might be all the way over here in a different stockpile. That's why a market is necessary even in the center of your town where you already have a barn and stuff. But this market um, I'm tempted to go ahead and build actually. But you know I'm really thinking it might make more sense Look at how they're cutting the corner here. I think that we should... Mm, I'm gonna build stuff there so they won't be able to cut the corners. I'm tempted to do a few more houses because we have so much food and it's just not an issue. Let's wait until they get those logs though. Because we'll need logs for our houses. And I think a lot of them are being used to create lumber right now. Lumber and firewood both. But I'm pretty happy with things. I'd be real happy to fill this out with housing. Maybe too much housing in one place and not, not broken up enough by the jobs that the people in the housing will do, but you know, I think it'll be alright. And also circle this market with lots of housing if we decide to do that, but you know, this is going to be a, the industrial quadrant, so we are going to want to have houses there. Once this is done, we'll probably build some houses on the other side of this of these fields and then do our quarry and such up here. But we'll want to strip this whole area bare of trees bit by bit. Especially now since we really are running out. Have you gotten the feathers yet? You still haven't. I wonder. Is it an issue of, of this guy? Is he, is he bringing feathers? Oh, he's just... He's just gone to get something to eat now. I, I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know why he would have been all the way down there. Maybe he went to get the feathers and then people took them and put them in their houses instead. No, there's there's feathers there. Maybe he went halfway to get the feathers and then... <laughs> you know, this is this, this is where the market really solves a lot of those problems. Because Dwig or whoever, he'll just walk here and get whatever it is that he needs and walk right back. And it's not like that market is going to be able to steal all the things. It is going to require quite a few people to operate. I believe uh, it will probably be around five. So that's, you know, as many laborers as we have right now. Of course, we don't have to do them all at once. We do it bit by bit. Let's speed things up a little bit. Get, get to work on all that. Make sure it's all cut down. We'll want to do these two. We want to be thorough about this. Grab this tree and these trees, this tree, those trees, these trees. And you've still got plenty of work to do, so we'll leave you alone. But uh, having our food capped makes that a lot easier, obviously. But I think people are kind of running back and forth between as we hover around our food cap right now. It's not really the way you want it. It's very inefficient. I kind of assume that's what happens. Still don't have the feathers, eh? Alright, well, it says we have plenty of feathers, so I don't know why you wouldn't. We are getting to a position where we have a lot of lumber as well. Firewood is okay. Not 
great. Some new laborers have arrived. Okay, I'm gonna turn this market on. I wanna get this done. I think that'll make everything run a lot smoother. While also working on this trading post. It should be done soon. Here comes another trader, speak of the devil. I don't know what we have to trade away to him. Hardly anything. We've got firewood, some herbs. By the way, we are about to run out of herbs, it looks like. I'll have to keep a close watch on that. So, we've got all kinds of nice things. Herbs can actually be grown, right? That would be really nice if we could afford that, but I really don't think we will be able to. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to d afford anything right now. We're just going to have to wait until things kind of even out for us. Particularly getting this market done ought to help at least with logistics and such. And this trading post is now done, so he's going to want a worker. At least one. No, he's not done yet. He's just almost done. This guy actually wants five workers. That's crazy. I, I mean, I can understand why it would be operating uh, with a lack of efficiency. Are we ready to raise the food cap up a bit? I don't know. We'll have to see how it dips in uh, lean times. All right, we got this done. It wants six workers. I'm going to hire just one. So that's going to be two. One for here and one for you. But yeah, we don't have really anything that we wish... We'll tell him to get feathers when he can. We'll tell him to get gold gilder when he can. We'll tell him to take reeds when he can. We don't want to sacrifice our rough tools, because that's all we have. Bone meal's fair game. Um, that's about it, I think. Yeah, we need to set up production to be a little bit, a little bit better. I am happy with the amount of lumber I'm generating, though. We should we should be fine with firewood as long as we don't run out of lumber, which is a very real possibility. The forester's not gonna. I hate how these trading posts always have this little graphical glitch. They always have it, and it's just kind of distracting from the otherwise perfect ambiance of the game. See it? I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but it is there. It is there. Farm supplier is not working. He died, but he was replaced. And I guess this one got two somehow. We don't want... Yeah. Well, I guess you could have two and I could have one. No, let's just have one and one. That's all we can really afford right now. Although we are getting some more labor. It's a steady stream. Alright, our market's done. He demands six workers. We will give you two. Okay, how's that? So this guy's gonna have two, and this guy's gonna have two. And he should be able to do a pretty good job with just two. For now. That leaves us four laborers, three builders. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, I'm starting thinking in the direction of a quarry now. And I think before we build a quarry, a little area of housing may be in order. Um thinking it might be nice to do housing here because you're going to have some more agriculture here and some more industry here. So in between the two and perfectly in range of the market is, is a great place for some houses. Well, let's do that. Go ahead and connect this road and extend this road. That'll give us a perfect little corner. Throw down some wooden houses. And definitely need to start thinking about upgrading some of the houses soon. We'll do six for right now. How do we want to do this? Do we want to leave an open area in the middle? I think we ought to maximize our use of the space. So we will do so. Because we have a lot of industry buildings we need to build over here. We don't want wasted space. So that's going to take up most of our logs, and we may have to end up, uh, yeah, in fact we are, going to immediately have to start cutting down some more logs. And you know, I, 
Dead Inside left a particularly good uh, tip. He said that if you pin this window, then you can go over here and build stuff, and you can see the radius. Um, until that happens, I suppose. Pin. Pin yourself. Okay. So now, if I want to build something, say I want to build houses, I can know exactly where the ring is. Really useful tip. Thank you very much, Dead Inside, for that and all your other awesome tips and comments. Yeah, he's running out of out of trees. So the reason I, I brought this up is because I want to cut the trees that are just outside of the circle. And these as well, if I can. Alright, that's a little bit too much. But hopefully we'll reach that food cap really soon. And then... Why is this a problem? No citizens. Did the other one die? Yeah, I need one to work here. What I need to do is just lower the caps. And then sort it out that way. And we'll have one each? Yeah, okay. That'll have to be enough for right now. Hey, okay, we've got our first real trader. And he's offering some beef jerky. Which I can trade for. With feathers, I have 100 feathers, so... Let's trade away 100 feathers for... How much beef jerky will that get us? Mutton... Mutton cuts and pork also seem nice. He just brings all kind of food, doesn't he? Mostly it's goods, okay. We'll trade that, we'll trade to the ten reeds, and we'll trade the six bone meal. And we don't have any gilder to trade, so that's 128. So let me do a little quick math here. I wish I would do the math for you and just tell you how much, but 20 would be 80, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so Another 10 would be 30, be 8, plus 2, uh, or maybe we could just get 4 of these. Okay, so that's a little meat for us, and it helps us reach our cap quite easily, which will mean more labors, which will mean more trees cut down, which is what we really, really need right now, more trees. I wonder how a forester would actually manage up here, let's see. Yeah, it's not quite a good shape for a forester. We could do one here, but I think we need our quarry to be there. Although, we could put one here, and a hunter, and a gatherer, in a, a medicinal place, because we're running out of herbs, it looks like, more or less. I don't know. That would be an interesting idea. Is this a new merchant? We can dismiss you. We don't need any of that right now. We'll dismiss you as well. We don't want any more of your stuff. That is an interesting idea to put another forester up there, but I don't think I will. I'd, I, I would cherish that space in the future, I know, and I don't... It's a, it is a pain in the ass to demolish things and have to rebuild them. We are going to do that probably with this group of things as we grow out that way, but right now we have plenty of space, so there's no issue. In the future, space will be at an all-time high premium, so we have to be prepared for that. Okie dokie, our new houses are coming up nicely, and we might start thinking about maybe a quarry here pretty soon. Let's look at our options in terms of that. Alright, it's going to be like a small quarry, I think. Ten stone and salt mine is a small one, a small quarry. Yeah, we could go ahead and do the big one, but I say we do the small one. I think it may be best if it kind of backed up to this. I don't see any reason to not do that. Although it's going to leave a kind of awkward middle ground here though. We could fill that up with farm, with with a, an orchard even. Let's do that. Let's do like this. I know it looks like a kind of weird place for it, but I'm trying to maximize my space as I said. I'm going to go through there. And then this will be like so, and like so. And you know, this space might be best reserved for either housing or an industry. I was thinking maybe 
a nice pecan orchard. It would be in a weird shape, but I don't see why not. We'll save that space. We'll put a pin in it and maybe decide later. But guys, I'm out of time. Wow, this time really flies when you start playing this game. So much fun. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Same time tomorrow around 9 o'clock in the morning. Is when I, Central time is when I usually release it. So you can look forward to an episode every day. Like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and uh, help me propel me forward through the trying times of this, you know, Hamlet in the middle of the forest. Thanks, guys. Peace.